Another good news for the Philippine Navy. Shipbuilder firm Herma Shipyard Incorporated (HSI) announced that it has finished the dry docking and upgrading the Philippine Navy's BRP Gregorio del Pilar PS-15. In a statement, HSI said the offshore patrol vessel was formally turned over to the Philippine Navy. The latest and ninth unit Acero-class Shaldag Mark V missile gunboat is nearing completion. But before we continue, and you are new to this channel, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you are always updated on Philippine military news and events. The Herma Shipyard Incorporated, with the collaboration of Hanwha Systems Company Limited of the Republic South of Korea, announced that they have completed the upgrade to BRP Gregorio del Pilar, PS-15. This marks the completion of a series of upgrades to the Philippine Navy's Gregorio del Pilar class frigates, which include PS-15, PS-16, BRP Ramon Alcaraz, and PS-17, BRP Andres Bonifacio. According to the shipbuilder, the 3,250-ton ships are former U.S. Coast Guard Hamilton-class high-endurance cutters that were acquired by the Philippines from 2011 to 2016 and now serve as the backbone of the Philippine Navy's patrol force. The Philippine Navy's Del Pilar-class frigates are being upgraded with a variety of new systems, including sonar. The Hunter 2.0 hull-mounted sonar has been integrated with Hanwha's combat management system. This sonar has a detection range of up to 64 kilo yards and a transmission sector of 360 degrees. Sensors. The ship's sensors are being upgraded, including the Saab AN SPS 77 Sea Giraffe AMB 3D air surface search radar and the FLIR system C FLIR 230 electro optical infrared camera. Weapon systems. The ship's weapon systems are being improved, including the BAE Systems Mech 4 Third Harm 38 Mod 2 machine gun system. There are also plans to install anti submarine weapons. The upgrades to the nearly 60-year-old ship enhance the Navy's operational readiness and strengthen the capabilities of all our Gregorio del Pilar-class patrol vessels, which serve as a core component of our fleet. The collaboration celebrated at the turnover ceremony emphasizes the importance of strong partnerships in advancing the Navy's modernization and transformation, especially under the Comprehensive Archipelagic Defense Concept CADC, framework. As the Philippine Navy presses forward, initiatives as such remain the driving force behind the pursuit of a formidable and future-ready maritime defense aligned with the vision of our nation's leaders. The Naval Shipbuilding Center of the Naval Sea Systems Command, Philippine Navy released a video on constructing and assembling the 9th Acero class Shaldag Mac 5 fast attack interdiction craft. Part of the contract with Israel Shipyards is the technology transfer and license to build the Shaldag Mancock 5, which will benefit the PN should it decide to acquire more Shaldag Mech 5 boats, and also probably use the local production capability to build for other services, like the Philippine Coast Guard. It could also allow the PN to use the base design to create different designs according to their requirements. The Philippine Navy Naval Sea Systems Command confirmed that they are on track to complete the construction of the 9th Acero class Shaldag Mk5 fast attack interdiction craft by 06 December 2024, and the craft will undergo sea trials soon in preparation for its commissioning with the PN's littoral combat force. The Shaldag Mk5 has high-speed capabilities, reaching up to 40-plus knots, making it ideal for fast interception and pursuit operations in Philippine coastal waters. Equipped with spiked ER missiles for precision strikes, 30mm and 12.7mm machine guns, and an advanced combat management system, the Acero class can effectively engage small to medium-sized threats, such as patrol boats or other coastal assets. These vessels are built to conduct maritime interdiction, surveillance, and coastal patrol missions, enhancing the Navy's ability to secure its territorial waters against both conventional and asymmetric threats. The acquisition of Shaldag Makafi boats strengthens the Philippine Navy's rapid response and coastal defense capabilities significantly, with plans for additional units to further bolster this fleet. The PN's fast attack interdiction craft with missiles acquisition project will be considered complete, which is expected to happen early next year. That's it for today. 
Thank you for watching. If you enjoy this video and want to learn more about the powerful equipment of the armed forces of the Philippines, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Until next time, stay tuned and stay informed.